Welcome back to Movie Recaps. Today I will show you a drama film from 2022, titled In Our Prime. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. In the most prestigious high school in South Korea where the 1% gathers, Han Jiwoo fails to fit in. He used to be the smartest student in his old humble school, but here surrounded by geniuses, he is one step from the bottom of the class, especially in math, which is considered the most important subject to get into college. His classmates are rich, so they can afford tutors and boot camps, but Jiwoo is on student welfare and can't afford such things. His math teacher Mr. Kim Gun Ho, reminds him these grades won't be enough to get into a prestigious college and asks Jiwoo to consider transferring. One night, Jiwoo's roommates give him money so he can sneak out and get some snacks and alcohol for everyone, but on his way back, Jiwoo is caught by the night guard Lee Hak Sung. The following morning, Mr. Kim tries to get him to confess who else was part of this plan, but Jiwoo values loyalty and stays silent. This catches his classmate Park Boram's attention but also gets him temporarily kicked out of the dorms. After class, his roommates try to give him some money as thanks and are shocked to hear Jiwoo doesn't want it because they're friends. They discuss the possibility of bringing in late-night snacks through other routes, but this has been impossible since Hak Sung started to work as a guard. They call him the Kami officer because he's a North Korean defector. Later, Hak Sung goes to see his doctor, who tells him working as a night guard isn't good for his health and relying on sleeping pills causes his biorhythm to be off. Hak Sung reminds him that it's the only job he can get as a defector, so unless the doctor can get him a position somewhere else, he'll take the pills. Afterward, Hak Sung returns to his lonely apartment, where he spends his time feeding his turtle, drinking strawberry milk, and doing Sudoku puzzles. The following day, Jiwoo is kicked out of the dorms. Boram teases him on his way out, saying she thought he could be more than a loser, but it seems she was wrong. A couple of hours later, Jiwoo has returned to his family apartment, which he cleans before his mother comes back from work. She's a widow that has always worked very hard to raise him, so she's very proud of seeing her son in such an important uniform. Not having the heart to tell her he needs a place to sleep, Jiwoo says instead that he only came to visit her and he must return to the school before it gets too late. It begins raining on his way back, so Jiwoo tries to hide in the school's abandoned lab, but he's found by Hak Sung. The guard feels bad when he hears Jiwoo doesn't have a place to stay, so he invites him back to his office. While Jiwoo sleeps, Hak Sung finds the very hard math homework that Jiwoo couldn't finish. As soon as the sun raises, Hak Sun kicks Jiwoo out. The boy goes to his math class and is shocked to find his homework has been done by Hak Sung, not only that, all the answers are correct. Boram notices this and wants Jiwoo to show the teacher, but he asks her to keep quiet. After class, Jiwoo goes to thank Hak Sung for the help and asks him to teach him how to do it, but Hak Sung just kicks him out again. Later, in the studying room, Jiwoo hears even his classmates' private tutors have trouble with some of these math problems, which indicates how special Hak Sung is. Jiwoo starts following him around, begging to be tutored, but Hak Sung won't pay attention to him. One afternoon, while he's taking out the trash, Hak Sung overhears the teachers talking about welfare students with uncaring parents and inferior complexes, and Mr. Kim includes Jiwoo on the list. When Jiwoo approaches him to ask for tutoring again, Hak Sung tells him it's better to transfer and that self-pity isn't a badge to carry because it gets you fixated on tragedy. Jiwoo explains how angry it makes him that others can have opportunities he can't, so Hak Sung gives in and accepts to tutor him. He only asks for Jiwoo to pay him with strawberry milk. The next day, Hak Sung visits his friend in Gi Chol, who helped him come to South Korea because he works as Seoul's North Korean defector support lead. Together they play board games and chat about life, and when Gi Chol gets Hak Sung the lamps he needed as a gift, Hak Sung insists on paying for them because he didn't come to this country for charity. When night falls, Hak Sung puts the lamps inside the abandoned lab so he can teach Jiwoo there in secret. There are three rules Jiwoo must follow. 1. Nobody must know about these classes. 2. No questions other than math, and three, Hak Sung will teach math but he doesn't want to hear anything about grades or tests. After Jiwoo promises to follow all the rules, Hak Sung gives him the first exercise, finding the area of a triangle. Jiwoo solves it quickly, pointing out this is a middle school problem, but Hak Sung tells him he's wrong by drawing a full circle around the triangle. Feeling tricked, Jiwoo thinks it's unfair because Hak Sung has given him the wrong question, but Hak Sung's point is that he's approaching problem solving the wrong way. Yes, finding the answer it's important, but understanding what the question is, that's what is even more important. Math is all about the process of finding a solution. When Jiwoo shows an understanding of the concept, Hak Sung calls it Epsilon as he has a flashback of how a younger he and a friend received a fancy pen as a prize for their academic success. Epsilon means small and insignificant, trivial even. After the class is over, since Jiwoo still doesn't have a place to go, Hak Sung allows him to stay with him. Jiwoo discovers that Hak Sung loves listening to classical music on an old cassette player, so they chat about classical composers for a while, which helps Hak Sung avoid Jiwoo's questions about his past. The cassette is worn out and has a bad sound quality, so Jiwoo plays the songs on his phone, the quality of which fascinates Hak Sung and helps him sleep deeply for the first time in ages. 
In fact, he stays in bed until late the next morning, and when he wakes up, Jiwoo has already left for class. Mr. Kim has some important news for his math students. Instead of having finals, his class will participate in the prestigious Pythagoras math competition, which will count as their exam. The teens aren't happy about this since they only have two months to practice, but Mr. Kim expects them all to win gold. Jiwoo goes to see Hak Sung every day for math classes, and Boram begins noticing how often Jiwoo purchases strawberry milk, almost as if he was an addict. One evening, there's a particularly hard exercise that Jiwoo needs to know the technique to solve, but Hak Sung explains he expects him to add it all up manually. Three hours later, Jiwoo manages to solve it, so Hak Sung shows him something special. Famous mathematician Bernhard Riemann calculated 38 decimals of the square root of 2 by hand to become intimate with the solving process, which you can't do by just memorizing a formula. This is greatly helpful when it comes to a better understanding of math. Hak Sung refuses to tell Jiwoo if his answer is right or wrong because his homework will be to discover it himself, that's the job of a mathematician. As the weeks pass, Jiwoo improves his math skills more and more every day. One afternoon, he receives some devastating news, a close friend and fellow welfare student is transferring back to his old school, admitting having come here was never worth it. Now Jiwoo has some thinking to do about his own situation, and Boram tries to hear him out, but he feels like she's making fun of him by saying they're in the same situation when she's actually a rich kid too. Their conversation is interrupted when Boram's mother comes to pick her up. When they get in the car, Boram is scolded for hanging out with a welfare kid, Boram is technically on welfare too because of her divorced parents, but she isn't on financial aid, so it isn't really the same. Her mother also scolds her for listening to piano music because she wants Boram to concentrate on her studies, so she's hired Mr. Kim to be Boram's private tutor, which is illegal. Later that night, Jiwoo tells Hak Sung about his friend and wonders if he should transfer too. Hak Sung encourages him not to give up and reminds him the most important thing to succeed isn't intelligence but courage to prevail until the end. To prove his point, he shows Jiwoo the exercises he corrected. While there are some mistakes in the final solutions, the boy has correctly learned the process to solve them. That same night, Jiwoo's suspension ends so he gets to go back to the dorms, but he admits missing sharing a space with Hak Sung. The next day, Boram gifts him strawberry milk with an apology note, and when he gets distracted, she follows him to the abandoned lab and discovers his secret. After thanking Hak Sung for taking care of Jiwoo, she asks if she can come over from time to time, and Hak Sung accepts as long as she keeps it a secret too. Boram also calls him Kami officer and this confuses Hak Sung, he may be from North Korea, but he never served in the military. For a reason he doesn't bother to explain, he was exempted. At that moment, they notice a group of students sneaking around the campus, but having learned what happened to Jiwoo last time, Hak Sung decides to do nothing about it. Another evening, Jiwoo asks Hak Sung why he studied math so hard. He explains that at first, he did it for the scholarship and the sake of his family, but the more he learned about it the more beautiful he found it, so he fell in love with it. Then, they call Boram to join Hak Sung at the piano so he can teach her a cool little trick, assigning a note to each digit, the two of them make a beautiful melody by playing the number pi. During the next math class, Jiwoo corrects Mr. Kim's answer to an exercise using the logic Hak Sung taught him about incorrect questions. However, Mr. Kim scolds him for it, the answer may be correct, but it's not what the examiner intended, and that's the only thing the students need to worry about, giving the solution that is expected, not the one that is right. It's all about test technique, but Jiwoo doesn't accept this and replies he'll still give the right answer on the test. Considering him rude for such attitude, Mr. Kim makes him stand outside the door for the rest of the class. Afterward, Jiwoo informs Mr. Kim that he won't be transferring. In the afternoon, during another of Hak Sung's visits, Gi Chul gives him a smartphone so he's easier to find. Hak Sung happily shows it to Jiwoo later, and the boy can't help noticing he's reading long theses on this tiny screen. To help, Jiwoo asks a classmate to sneak him into the computer lab so he can print the entire document and gift it to Hak Sung. The next day is the Pythagoras test. Jiwoo is doing wonderful thanks to Hak Sung's lessons, and while Boram starts well enough by remembering the music, she soon gets frustrated. Pressure takes a toll on her, and she ends up leaving the classroom without finishing the exam. Her mother makes her stay home to avoid shame and lies to the school, saying that they'll go away on a trip. When Jiwoo tries to contact her, all his texts are ignored. In the evening, Jiwoo and Hak Sung go to a classical concert that Boram got them free tickets for because her family's company sponsors it. Boram never shows up, but at least Hak Sung enjoys it so much that he's moved to tears. Afterward, Hak Sung invites Jiwoo to have dinner at his place, which makes Jiwoo realize this is the first time he sees Hak Sung eat. That same night, someone leaks the Pythagoras test on the internet, causing trouble for the teachers, who now must find the student that did it if they don't want the education board to fire them. Meanwhile, Jiwoo and Hak Sung go to a bookstore to do some shopping, and a stranger recognizes Hak Sung. This man also comes from North Korea and calls Hak Sung doctor, remembering him from the days Hak Sung taught classes at the university he attended. 
The man also calls Hak Sung the famous mathematical genius and thinks Ji Woo is his son, which puts them in an awkward situation. Hak Sung thanks the man for the memory and rushes to leave the store, refusing to answer Ji Woo's questions. When he gets home, Hak Sung remembers the good times he used to have with his son Lee Taeyeon, like having dinner together, getting the turtle, and buying strawberry milk because it was Taeyeon's favorite. The next day, some important news appears on TV. The Riemann hypothesis, one of the most important mathematical problems, is about to be solved by a famous North Korean called Lee Hak Sung. So far, it's still ongoing review by a board of scholars. Professor Oh on TV tells the story of how he entered a math Olympiad when he was a kid and met Hak Sung, who represented the North while Oh represented the South. They both were given a fancy pen by a famous mathematician, and Oh still has it to this day. Both Gi Chol and Ji Woo see the news, and it's Ji Woo that finds Hak Sung first to ask him about it. However, Hak Sung gets angry and asks him to never mention the Riemann hypothesis again. Meanwhile, Mr. Kim is having trouble with the test incident because his reputation is on the line. But when a coworker reviews the security tapes after a student passed on some rumors, he finds his salvation. The following day, Mr. Kim calls Ji Woo to show him the recording of him sneaking out of the computer lab with some printed sheets in his hands. Ji Woo tries to explain that it's unrelated, but he has no way to prove it. Between the tape evidence and the fact he magically became better at math in a few months, nobody will believe him. So Mr. Kim offers him a deal. If he accepts to transfer, he won't make his blame public. Sadly, the rumors of Ji Woo having done the leaking still reach everyone's ears, and Boram gets upset about it because she knows the truth. Gi Chul is having some trouble of his own too. North Korea is angry that the South is taking Hak Sung's achievements, especially since these discoveries are tied to military encryption. So the niche wants Gi Chul to convince Hak Sung to appear on TV to clarify matters. Hak Sung's name is all over the news now. And an old colleague even visits him to convince him to return to the North together. However, he puts his foot in his mouth when he admits he's asking because bringing Hak Sung would earn him forgiveness too, and only manages to anger him by bringing up what happened to his son. Gi Chul visits Hak Sung to apologize for not being able to keep the niche off his back, but Hak Sung is still thankful for all the years of protection. While Hak Sung's packing to leave town, Gi Chul returns to him the document with his research, with Hak Sung tried to throw away years ago, and Gi Chul saved it because it was too valuable to be trash. At that moment, Ji Woo arrives as well, but he decides to stay outside when he hears yelling. Hak Sung is angry because it was this research that cost him his son's life, so he refuses to put it on TV. After Gi Chul leaves, Ji Woo tries to talk to Hak Sung, but the old man only lashes out at him, refusing to accept they are anything closer than tutor and student. Afterward, Ji Woo gets a call from an upset Boram, who doesn't understand why he's letting them frame him like this, but he just tells her it's over and hangs up. In the meantime. Hak Sung arrives at the bus station, and when he thinks he saw his son's face on a random stranger, he begins to remember the night Taeyeon died. After he got into another fight for defending fellow defectors, Taeyeon began arguing with his dad, accusing him of having escaped to the South for selfish reasons because he didn't do it when his mom was sick with tuberculosis. Hak Sung insisted he did it to give his son a better life, but Taeyeon pointed out that doing entry jobs and being treated like dirt was far from a better life for a scholar. After wishing his dad to enjoy his life with only math as a company, Taeyeon ran away and tried to go back to the north by swimming, but he was shot on sight by border patrol. Back to Ji Woo, he sneaks into his home to use her mother's stamp on the transfer papers while she's sleeping. The next morning, he hands the papers to Mr. Kim, who tells him he did the right thing. Hak Sung is hiding in a hotel while Gi Chul searches for him to take him to the TV show, and he is surprised to get a call from Boram telling him about Ji Woo's transfer. That afternoon is the Pythagoras Award ceremony. Ji Woo is on his way out of the school, but Boram suddenly arrives and drags him with her to the auditorium by stealing his stuff. Professor Oh opens the ceremony with a speech about the recently proven theory, and that's the moment Hak Sung decides to interrupt, having rushed over to the school after freeing his turtle on the river. He presents his pen as proof of his identity, so Professor Oh receives him with open arms and allows him to give a speech too. After making a joke about his work as a guard, Hak Sung confesses he was the one that taught Ji Woo math and presents the printed thesis as proof that he didn't leak the test. He also reveals that it was Mr. Kim that leaked the test to his private students, which causes Mr. Kim to leave with anger and shame. Then, Hak Sung shares a bit of his story. He defected North Korea so he could study math properly, because his own government was using his research to build weapons. He wants his math to be used to find jobs and get into good colleges, but such greed cost him his son's life. Hak Sung is ashamed of his choices, yet Ji Woo never saw him that way and stayed loyal to his secret until the end, even if it would cost him his future. Crying. Hak Sung apologizes and thanks Ji Woo for believing in him, and such speech makes Gi Chul, who has been listening all along, leave without even asking about the TV interview. He does, however, wait for Hak Sung outside and offer him a ride. After throwing away the smartphone he had gifted him, Gi Chul reveals a little surprise for Hak Sung: a new legal passport that marks Hak Sung as a South Korean citizen, and tickets for him to leave town so the niche can't find him for a while. 
Gi Chul will probably get fired for it, but he thinks it's worth it. Sometime later, Gi Chul visits Ji Wu to give him the gift Hak Sung left for him, the famous pen in the first draft of his thesis. Three years later, Ji Wu and his college class visit the prestigious Oberwolfach Research Institute for Mathematics. Hak Sung is working there now, and Ji Wu surprises him with some strawberry milk and a hug before diving into a long talk about math. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.